A new developments in the rental house fire that killed two tourists in Noyak. Southampton town officials say the owners of the home will soon face a judge for breaking a town safety code. News 12's Virginia Huey is in Noyak with more tonight. Virginia. Joe, yellow tape is still up around this summer rental here in Noyak, where a fire killed two sisters exactly two weeks ago today. Town officials say their investigation showed that the homeowners did not have a rental permit, which is a key safety measure. This, this is a tragedy for everyone. Questions about safety features at the rental home on Spring Lane began swirling after firefighters reported to town officials that they didn't hear smoke detector alarms screeching when they responded to the scene of the fatal fire. Town officials say their investigation found the homeowner violated town code by not having a rental permit. Officials say that means there had been no inspection of the property to ensure safety. We check for things like smoke detectors, carbon monoxide alarms, GFI outlets. We, we check for pool alarms and things like that. All of those types of things that are required portions of not just the town code, but the New York State Uniform Fire and Building Code. The Wiener family of Potomac, Maryland, was renting the summer home when the fire broke out in the middle of the night on August 3rd. The father, mother, and brother escaped the burning home. But sisters Jillian and Lindsay were trapped on the second floor and died of their injuries. Town officials say the investigation found there were smoke detectors in the house, but they weren't working. The batteries were all in there. Um, or no, they didn't have batteries, so that's what we're seeing so far. Southampton Town Attorney Jim Burke says the rental permit is aimed at uncovering safety issues such as faulty smoke detectors. Because the, the basic rules weren't followed here, it might have led to this, this, um, this terrible uh, circumstance. It's a constant struggle to try and identify properties that, that don't have rental permits. Ryan Murphy is the town code compliance administrator. He says his office issues several rental code violations a week. But Murphy says the proliferation of home sharing sites makes it tough to keep up with violators. It's kind of always a game of catch up trying to, you know, look for them because as you identify one or two, others pop up. Town officials are hoping this tragic case will send a message to owners of rentals. Hopefully it's going to scare people straight, you know, that I've got to have a safe place. Now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Meantime, officials say the homeowners, Peter and Pamela Miller, will be arraigned next week on the lack of a rental permit charge. We're told that more code violations are pending against the couple. News 12 called the Millers for comment, but we have not heard back. In Noyak, Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.